I was investigating this because I was wondering why our school systems are so bad at fostering individual vision. Yes. Because it's such a lack. I thought, why? This is such a lack. There's something going on here. Okay. The Prussians established the first public education system. Yeah. And the reason they did it was because the Prussian emperor wanted to produce obedient soldiers. You know, disciplined, yes. obedient soldiers. Now, I don't want to get cynical about that because in a society that requires a military, disciplined people who can follow rules are arguably necessary. Now, right. obviously, right. that can go very badly, right. but, but we got to give the devil his due. And the Prussians actually put forward a very effective military training system. Now, that was adopted in the United States in the late 1800s by industrialists, mostly, self-proclaimed fascists. So at that time, of course, it wasn't Mussolini, Hitler, like fascism. It was far the early precursors of that. But they were people who believed that the state and the, uh, the corporate world could integrate at the highest levels. And there might be some utility in that, which is a very dubious claim, but <laughs> nonetheless. So they noticed that they knew that all sorts of rural people were pouring into the cities to start working in factories. Their kids needed to be cared for while they worked, and then their kids were likely to have factory jobs. And so the purpose of the public education system, and this is why there's rows of desks and factory bells and this insistence on timing, was to produce disciplined, obedient workers, certainly yes. not to produce people who were autonomous. And um, that was adopted in the U.S. The Japanese adopted it and militarized like mad, and part of the consequence of that was the outbreak of the Second World War. And yep. But... But that being chained to a desk, that's not a bug. That was a feature. Right, right, right. And, you know, you can also even say, well, let's give it some credence. A rural uh, worker, their, their time schedule is much less stringent than someone who's going to work on a factory. Right, they're on an line. agrarian farm. Yeah. They're on a farm, yeah. You're much looser in your yeah. time sense. And it is the case that industrialization requires clock. Yes. And so... You have to give the devil his due, but in a somewhat post-industrial world, which is what we're in now, it's not obvious at all that obedient worker slash soldier is the right model for human development.